The NC International Group wants to negotiate new terms for a 6.5 billion NT loan extended to one of its subsidiaries that comes due Wednesday. If an agreement isn't reached and an embattled Dingxing fails to raise the money, creditors are planning to request seizure and auction of a plot of Dingxing owned land. This land, located next to Xianzi Temple Station in Sanchong, is owned by Dingxing subsidiary Weichuan. It could be seized if another Dingxing subsidiary, Dinglu Development, does not repay a 6.5 billion NT syndicated loan before the end of the year. The principal bank associated with the loan, Mega International Commercial Bank, has already informed the company of its intent. On Saturday, we sent documents stating procedures to follow in accordance with the loan contract. Of course, these procedures include requesting the court to grant a provisional attachment to be followed by an auction. Negotiations are underway between Dingxing and its creditors, and Dingxing has not ruled out selling assets to pay off the loan. The Wei brothers, who own a majority stake in Dingxing, also have billions of NT dollars tied up in property. Financial commentator Tsai Yujun says that if Dingxing unloads these assets to pay back its loans, the family will still retain big profits. It's as if they're spitting out just a portion of the money that they raised, scammed and moved around after returning to Taiwan. They didn't bring any money back. Dingxing's credit crunch began following a series of high-profile food safety scandals. It is also believed that Ma Zhou's administration is attempting to shed its image as a protector of Dingxing.